but our stars aren't just here to compete. Joe's charity, um, which you've helped support with your phone votes at home, is the Lighthouse Foundation, which provides accommodation and support for young people who may otherwise be homeless. Joe and Anthony got a chance to see firsthand just how important that foundation is. So thank you for everybody who supported them with their votes. Joe herself has had an amazing experience on this very show. There have been some highs, there have been some lows. In fact, it's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster for our Joe. Before they perform for the final time, let's have a look back and see just what Joe's journey has been like on It Takes Two. I didn't really have any expectations. When I walked into the room and saw Anthony, my heart pounding. The first time I heard her sing, I thought she has yeah, got a good sense of pitch. It wasn't a strong voice. There was something there to work with, which I thought, OK, cool, I don't have a dud. I was unprepared for how confronting it's been to be judged, really feeling as though I wasn't being able to fulfil that expectation. It's going, I can't do it, before she even attempted it. I've discovered I'm a highly emotional person. It was pretty full on to be sharing that with someone you've just met. I mean, we instantly had to trust each other. It's not all about singing. You have to be a psychologist as well. I think every emotion that you can go through, you feel. And no one does that day to day. Puts themselves in that space where everyone can see right into you. Just to get out there and give yourself to the audience and give yourself to the song and just enjoy that moment. Easy said than done. The only way you can really feel like you've done the best job you can and have made the most of this opportunity is to just love every moment. It's amazing to see what she started out as and now where she is at the moment. I can't believe we're in at week 10. I did not expect to become friends with Anthony in the way that we have. You very quickly get to know each other because you, you have, have to. to. Yeah. <laughs> Frequently I've wondered if we've bitten off more than we can okay, chew. Nice. The team is the key. And now the song that Jo has chosen to sum up her experience here in the It Takes Two competition. It's a fitting one to go out on. For the very final time, ladies and gentlemen, it's Anthony and Joe with What A Feeling! Amazing to me. You so. were different then. What do you mean? I don't know. You were just 
get you know what, let loose and what was yeah. these ones? <laughs> that in all of the numbers we've done for probably the last three or so weeks, three or four weeks, but it's just great. I'm so, so happy that I was able to come out and really feel as comfortable as I have been, because if I'd gone three weeks ago, I would have missed that experience, so I'm really pleased. And how cool is it to be with this guy? I love him so much. Yeah. <laughs> I love him so much. Well, we're getting closer to receiving some of the final scores for tonight. James, would you like to kick us off as we count down? Yes, look, Joe, thank you so much for rescuing that song from the beer ad. <laughs> <laughs> So much better. We did want to get a couple of fat guys behind yeah. us. Yeah. I thought it should have been in the white leotard thing and just, you know, yeah. done a big leap. Would have been yeah. lovely. Yeah. Look, during this thing, I, I, it, it occurred to me a few times that, that I wonder whether you misunderstood what criticism really meant. When, when I, when I criticise, that means I've got great faith in you and that I think you've got some, somewhere to go. If I don't think you've got anywhere to go, I'll patronise you with faint praise. You, whatever the result tonight, you're a winner right now just for standing here. Fantastic. Those lyrics of that song encapsulate what every contestant felt over the whole ten weeks in this, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Really. I think you saw the moment in each person when they felt that. Yeah. Like, you know, it was a different week for each person. But That's exactly that. right. Yeah. But you know what? As Joan said, win or lose, Joe, you've played out your journey for those full ten weeks, so congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Well, what a feeling. You must be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I feel very happy. Yeah, it was, it was an amazing challenge and, you know, you've made it all the way to the grand final. No one can take that away from you. Congratulations. Thank you. Marina. Well, yeah, what a feeling. I reckon you've really just taken this opportunity and it's it's captured in the song. You just, you've taken a dream and you've pursued it and I think you've ended up being more than you ever dreamed that you could be and I just congratulate you on that. It's wonderful. Thank you. That's the last judge's comments that you're ever going to hear. Are you ready for the next bit? Yes, <laughs> I'm ready. There's surprises at every turn on this show. You never know what's going to happen next. Congratulations. Thank you. Then head backstage. Okay. Time to await the judges' verdict for four all-important numbers that will help determine their fate tonight, Kate. What a feeling. What a feeling. You're done. No. <laughs> yeah. You've had your ups and downs. It's been exhilarating. What do you think you're going to miss most about coming here every week? Him? Apart from Anthony, we know that much. I told him to say that. <laughs> um, look, You're the crowd. Crowd. Yeah, okay. The crowd has been yeah. just amazing yeah. every week. And, uh, <laughs> and, yeah. What about you, Anthony? You're not going to miss the phone calls, are you? Apparently, oh, the phone. No, I don't mind the phone calls. Uh -huh. so you don't know what you've got till it's gone. Yeah. 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 You're going to be calling her this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to me. Uh, <laughs> let's check out your last set of scores. Marina Pryor. Nine. James Valentine. Nine. Amanda Pellman. Eight. And for the last time, Ross Wilson. Eight. Great score. 34 points. I can't believe we've just seen our final performance of the competition, so let's take our last look oh. at the <laughs> Intel Core 2 duo leaderboard. And Jolene and David are on 115 points. Joe and Anthony or are on 105. So it's very close. It is. It's the last one. You've time. been great too, Kate. Yeah. 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 I can't handle all this praise. I can't handle all this praise. But anyway, that's the last... Thank you very much, Anthony. That's the last time we're going to have a look at, uh, at the leaderboard. We're going to combine the judges' scores with your votes at home to give us the grand final winner tonight. Now.